Well, our scheduled day of installation has finally arrived. Trucks are arriving and a contractor is ready to begin the job. Let's watch the yard cleanup in action. Once cleanup begins, the contractor will set up some control fencing around the cleanup areas. Then they'll bring the equipment in, remove the soil. Contaminated soil is then loaded into dump trucks and taken to a nearby landfill for disposal. We typically remove the top 12 to 18 inches of soil. In some areas, we're not able to, to dig that deep because we want to protect certain areas like the foundation of your home or root structures of tr large trees on your property. Once we've done that initial excavation, we take soil samples. If the soil comes back still above um, 100 parts per million for arsenic, we would then lay a geotextile fabric and put in clean soil. You will know the new soil is clean because we do uh, analytical testing on all the topsoil. And uh, we do that once before construction and at regular inter intervals during construction. As far as the elevation goes, it shouldn't, it shouldn't change. So it should be exactly the same slope away from the house as was there before. And for, on top of the clean soil, we, we put in the landscape material. So, you know, that might be sod or beauty bark or gravel. So your yard should look the same as it did before we got there. This is a lot of work, and the contractor will ask you to do a few things to help with the process. First, you need to make sure that you clear objects from the yard in the areas where they are doing the soil cleanup. This could include such things as lawn equipment, garden pots, and children's play equipment. The contractor will also need to get equipment in and out of your front and or backyard. This means that you will also have to clear pathways, gates, and driveways. Once construction starts, you may need to park your vehicle on the street. All your responsibilities will be clearly communicated in the original cleanup plan. 